Welcome, everyone. So um, I will not be speaking today, but uh, these three gentlemen will be. And uh, I invite uh, Tristan, Tristan? Tristan to explain what's the global idea of this uh, panel. I might have, oh, shit. <laughs> so, okay, okay, so the idea of this panel, we did one at the last summit, was to get um, international people in the one room and share ideas about user groups around the world. Um, what I was hoping to do this time was, uh, well, I firstly identify the countries that we have here. We've got, have we got the link to the old one from November? Yep, up the top there. Can we pull that up for a, a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. Who's, who's controlling <coughs> oh, okay. So what we did last time was, I think we had 19 countries represented. And I've, I've walked around the room and asked people about what was unique and interesting um, about their user group or, or their country and we had some quite interesting answers and what we try to do with this is feed this back into the wiki so that um, we can help more user groups pop up in more countries around the world. So we, what we wanted to do this time I guess is, is ask um, each of the represented countries two questions. First question is what's um, the best thing that's happened in your user group in the last six months? And the second question is probably, what's the worst thing that's happened in your user group in the last six months? So, are we getting a few more up there? So, I'd like to see some more pop up there, otherwise I'm going to come around and walk around the room and ask all of you. Uh, so, that's, how, that's, what, that's what we had last time, we had quite a few. So, we need to beat that this time. So, we've got... Someone here from Hungary. Hungary? Yeah, and Hungary also. Yeah. France? France. Right. Everybody up there? <laughs> oh, we've got network 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 issues. Australia. I love it. Mate. <laughs> China. Okay, so Hungary. Do we have any more countries represented here? Yeah. US. America. Spain, US, China, China, we've got a good China up there, I think. Philippines, Indonesia, Italy, doing pretty well so far. US, Brazil, US, India, Italy, US, China, US, have we got any more countries in here? Speak up now. Japan, Vietnam, that's it? Gentleman who just walked in. Oh, Vietnam is a double. Yeah. Oh. We, we have it twice. Yeah. We were asking people what country they came from. The gentleman that just walked in, that's just about to sit down there with a red shirt, right in the middle there. Yes, you, sir. <laughs> Russia, beautiful. Okay, so. And you, you in the back, uh, do you see your country here? Do you see the country you come so from in, the back in this list? Yes, you. Yeah. New guy in the back. Where are you from? Okay. Japan, cool. okay, so you're All already right. in. Okay. So. The best thing that's happened, I'm going, to, I'm going to kick it off, the best thing that's happened in our user group in the last six months um, would be growth, I think. We had a bit of a growth spurt. So now I'm the moderator, so I get to interrupt you because you spoke oh. quite a bit and, and you distributed yeah, things. Right. Sorry? I, I want, okay, sorry. Now, uh, following up, could you say uh, what's the worst thing that happened in your user group, the user group you know. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Sajid, I'm one of the organizers for OpenStack India user group. Thank you everyone for joining us right here. So definitely we have a very big traction in India, so we, uh, in, a, in an year time, I know Tristan has been, you know, uh, he's the, um, uh, Aptira and Tristan have supported our 
OpenStack India user group from day one, and it's been like, you know, at this point of time, we have a strong 1,700 member in just one and a half year. That's huge, and we have, uh, like, conducted around 40, uh, 40 meetup across the cities, and uh, it's definitely gaining a lot of traction across India, across cities, across universities, and I'm engaged with a lot of government agencies where we are trying to write some kind of reference architecture that could be implemented um, on the government agencies and universities. So definitely there's a lot of good things with that we are gonna talk about and the best part of this community is like the collaboration that we have seen across the universities and the corporates where we do a lot of thought sharing and we do a lot of, you know, uh, uh, a lot of uh, joint uh, meetups where uh, it's more like a very good engagement where uh, I see a good thought leadership coming and this is a very innovative project and uh, the, uh, there are certain things that we would be uh, touching upon like what are the challenges that we have faced definitely uh, conducting 40 meetups in two years it, that's a big number every every two months we conduct one meetup and the frequency has been grown up now there are huge demands so recently one of the uh, one of the uh, biggest achievement that we had is like we uh, uh, two months back we conducted OpenStack India Day and uh, it was it was a very good event and we had Tom Fifield who joined us from the foundation and we have been getting a lot of support from corporates and foundation those who make up you know do, those who travel all the way uh, to our places and they, they they support us in all the best way so so that you. would be the best thing that happened. Yeah, yeah, that's in, right. In that's right. Yourself. That's right. We are getting, now, you know. Do you have any pain point or I think definitely you, you're going to cover on the second part. So I would just, you know, I, I would give him some chance to speak about the best part. Then we'll go to okay, the Okay, let's part. start <laughs> with the best part then. All right. <coughs> Hi, everyone. So I'm, I'm Chung from Vietnam. And uh, we have a, a little community there. We started about a year, about 300 people now. It is constantly growing up. So it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, we, the, the good thing about our community is we got a good. Um, attention from the government and, and, and from other associations. So uh, it's been going uh, quite well. Uh, um, we, we got uh, some of the best thing that we've done is uh, we uh, expand awareness about this and it seems like uh, it, it's becoming a choice for you know, government cloud, open cloud especially. And uh, you know, uh, as a result, this time we have about 20 people coming here uh, from uh, two cities and three ministries and they are here to witness uh, how OpenStack has been uh, maturing, and, and I think that, that that's uh, been a good thing. Uh, should I talk about the bad thing as well? The bad thing? <laughs> okay. okay, you can open <coughs> up. Yeah, so we can go back right, that, that way, right? Yeah. So some of the bad, uh, some of the not good thing that happened to our community is that, um, uh, you know, why OpenStack has a very good uh, reputation. Everyone is uh, exciting about that. Uh, Actually, uh, we start seeing uh, cloud stack getting into fraction in, in Vietnam in uh, the community, and and uh, they they don't they don't have a, a, an actual community in Vietnam, but they also throwing out messages and saying that you know uh, it's much easier to, to to do cloud stack than open stack. So we actually have one customer, not customer, but one of our members actually moving the cloud stack way. So. Uh, and, and we try to, you know, um, bring up the level of awareness about actually cloud stack, open stack, whatever it open is work. Uh, but uh, the interoperability between the cloud be important for the government. So we need to uh, uh, pay some attention there. Yeah. All right. So when when it comes to spe uh, speaking about the bad thing, I won't say those are the bad things. Rather, I would say it's uh, uh, the uh, challenge that we need to challenge, yeah, yeah challenges right so looking from very optimistic that's what we grew from two to seventeen hundred right so that gives us a lot of uh, 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 you know optimistic uh, you know way of thinking so what I would say like currently the challenges that we faced all these years where basically we were trying to come up with some kind of governance model that we need in this such a scaling you know user uh, group where we 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 are very much vendor uh, we are very uh, vendor agnostic so we don't care about we don't actually encourage the vendor getting into the meetup and trying to control that so we need to a very strong governance model and 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 maybe i'm very uh, rude to the vendors but at uh, at the end of the day all that i want is a uh, is, is the to uh, to actually 
uh, send a very uh, broad messaging across the community that we all are together when it comes to technology and evangelism, uh, evang you know, doing evangelism for this particular technology. And I can only uh, get more and more developer, more and more contributors being more focused on if, if it is very straightforward to deal rather than coming through, you know, the protocols and the policies. So definitely. This so you, you, you have a very positive view of the problem, yeah, which, yeah. Is, which is good because a problem needs solving. We have, you know, tackled this kind of problem day, day in and out. So when I say 40 meetups, that's a big number. And every, yeah. every time we conduct a meetup, initially it was Aptira who was supporting, you know, uh, uh, for the events and everything, it, even till today they support. But and then we move to vendor location, and then I've been very particular about okay, these are the topics that we are gonna talk, and these are the timelines. We strict, very, very clear over there. Okay, these are the timelines, these are the topics. So definitely, being a sponsor, we give the preference to the vendor. Okay, speak about the technology, but I don't encourage any sales talk because this is still. In a developer, That's you know, most probably a delicate. Right, problem. right, right. I, I well, appreciate the kind of effort that uh, vendors have. You know, uh, uh, they, they, they are the person, those who have bring the more and more momentum in this technology. So I appreciate that. But when it comes I, to the user, I think we will see the same kind of balance in other groups. I'm yeah. sure. Uh, w yeah. What about you? So yeah, I mean, growth is certainly a thing. I think. Um, the best thing that's happened in the last, I, I think it's probably a little bit more than six months, maybe the last 12 months, is um, the vendors have become more involved. Um, when we started nearly two and a half years ago, um, I would ring up certain large organisations um, that are like m very significant members of the foundation and say, do you want to come and sponsor this event or come and speak at this event? It's about OpenStack. And they'd go, what's OpenStack? No idea at all. Um, what's happened lately, though, over the last few months? So it's like a, it's it's like it's evolved into a state where now I have to try and balance the interests between the vendors so that we're not um, completely um, uh, absorbed by any particular vendor. I mean, we we have a, 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 you know everyone wants to sponsor every event. They all want to pay for everything. They want to put their signs up all over the place, which is which is great. But we've got to try and keep it very level and um, not make it sort of a, keep it very um, equal or egalitarian or something. That's, that's, that's been, it's been nice to have that and it's kind of like a, um, a, a good thing and a bad thing too. It's kind of really difficult to manage. It's, it's, I've had to become quite a politician to sort of say, hey, this is, you know, you can't get up there and just spruik this stuff and plaster the place with signs and, and make it uh, your own sort of... Um, um, event too strongly. So it's about OpenStack, it's not about company X. The okay, that, that would be what you're struggling with. And yeah. What's, yeah, it's, it's what's the good? Yeah. Um, the other thing, I guess, within, within um, the, the biggest challenge has been um, communications between the groups um, around, the, around the country, um, which is probably something that um, is felt in India as well. The, 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 the mechanism we have at the moment um, is using meetup.com, which is, again, still, it's just not designed for, for distributed um, groups around the place or communications, easily, easy communications between groups. And I think some of the work that, that Steph and Martin have done um, on the portal, um, were you guys going to show us a look at that today? Or? Oh, no, okay. So... Um, okay, so that, that's me done. So can I ask um, someone from one of the other user groups around the world to answer the questions? That would be Sean. So, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's internationalization. Uh, so hi, I'm Sean. I uh, run the San Francisco Bay Area, California, United States meetup. Um, I took over for Ewan Mellor from Citrix, and who took over from uh, McKenty and uh, Jesse, the, some of the guys that helped start OpenStack back in the day. Um, so uh, the biggest problem we have is just, uh, well, yeah, let's see, yeah. should I start off with the biggest problem? The, the easiest thing has been that um, uh, there's a, a a lot of speakers around, so um, that's not going to be nearly as easy um, for a lot of meetups to find speakers. So I guess that could be 
one of my easiest um, uh, benefits and uh, the hardest thing I think for others. What's that? Uh, some sometimes, but yeah, but also a lot of speakers are really busy as well. So if I don't schedule it in a uh, in a good time slot, I'm not going to get them to go or come because everyone's just crazy busy lately. So um, the uh, the biggest problem I've had is uh, as I've gotten more and more involved with OpenStack and getting it um, more and more involved in my company of uh, keeping the schedule going. So that's uh, I really, uh, especially with the hackathon, because uh, we generally hold three different styles of meetups. I think we're on about I think we're on about 115 for the last year. So it's gotten been a, kind of a crazy pace. But people like Randy and uh, Bias and um, other uh, Boris from uh, Rantis have been helping out and have been helping uh, hold different styles of meetups. So we've been very participatory. Um, so the, but the the hackathon is really uh, the baby that I want to uh, shepherd the most. Um, there's that's where we uh, try to build new developers, um, new contributors. Um, so that's that's my biggest uh, problem. It's just been trying to be as consistent as possible. So we we actually hold it every two weeks. Um, I drag myself up there, and even if I'm tired, I I stay sometimes until I've stayed there till one in the morning with people. Um, getting either uh, writing code or working on a blueprint or doing whatever has to be done. So it's it's important just to be consistent. And uh, it, um, when people have time, they show up. And myself or Colin McNamara there. So you, you mentioned something the other day to me about the, the problem you have with too many speakers about um, a speaker matrix or, of some sort or a, a schedule. Um, is that something we could look at? putting into the portal. So the, the, the idea that Sean had the other day was all these people around the place that, that are available to speak about things, be that in person or over Google Hangout or Skype or whatever, um, trying to trying to get a, a, a list of all these people and their availability and what their topics are and have a sort of a matrix map that we can all use um, to, to get these guys online often um, and, and get them speaking to events around the world. Would that be useful to... To people, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I can add something to that. So, um, we just started a new user group at uh, CMU Pittsburgh a couple weeks ago. But the only re reason that I was able to start that, and they got me as, and uh, Colin McManer because I drug him along uh, somewhat unwillingly, <laughs> but uh, um, was because I knew some of the people and uh, I have a relationship with the university, so I was able to do that. But that's gonna be really difficult for anybody else that doesn't have an academic relations pipeline like we do, so we have a really strong relationship. Um, I also flew out to uh, Minneapolis um, to the, um, because I know Kyle Mestre really well and he runs that meetup. And we kind of helped him get it started uh, a few years ago. So. Um, not everyone has these deep contacts. Uh, I've been doing this for a while. So the um, way we can really kickstart a lot of other people um, or a lot of other user groups is to um, promote uh, speakers to be virtual. So I popped in when we were doing a lot of the discussions about core. Um, it was uh, um, Rob Hirschfeld made a big effort to travel to a lot of different places on the east, east uh, eastern seaboard. Uh, but I made a big effort to pop in, but I was doing it virtual. So I was able to contribute some to the discussion. So it makes a big difference. The more we can do that, hopefully uh, um, using the, the portal will be, I think, very helpful and start evangelizing that. I think it's really important for um, uh, develop, the develop, not only the, the people that are uh, helping to drive um, companies, and they're generally the ones that are a little bit more interested in doing this, but also driving developers to do this, because it's a, an important skill to be able to speak in public so that you feel a little less intimidated when you need to get up at the design summit and speak about your blueprint that you've worked on. So, you're, so anyway. In, in this regard, uh, I would like to hear from people from countries who are not uh, native English speakers. Oh, here. Or here, here, no, yeah. And then someone else from China, maybe? Okay. 
Hi, my name is Gergely. Uh, we run the Hungarian user group together with Parkton. And uh, what was our best uh, uh, experience? Uh, we had an absolutely new uh, user group member who just, just joined us. And uh, we were trying, uh, trying to uh, explain him what is what this open source community about. And uh, he didn't seem to get it at all. And, uh, and uh, we, we basically tried everything. And uh, then a guy showed up, um, a redhead guy from Arizona, Chris. And uh, he just walked down. He's on holiday and saw the open sex sign. And uh, he, he joined into the group. Uh, probably uh, his wife was not uh, so happy about this. I, I guess she imagined a much more romantic holiday in Budapest. But uh, uh, we actually had a great fun with him. And, uh, uh, and our new member, uh, he was, OK, now I get it. Uh, now I see what is, what is this community about. Uh, What's the so best number? <laughs> yes, yes. Absolutely. Uh, the worst experience, uh, I can't really say any uh, bad experiences, but uh, if I really need to say anything, uh, in our last meetup, uh, we had so many people that uh, uh, the room was not enough, so some people had to stand because the, our user group is booming and uh, we have quite a lot of members. Uh, uh, I mean, relatively, we are a small country, but uh, we have a uh, lot of members, and uh, the only difficult thing is to find a place to, to organize meetups because we, we are over overgrown on this. Cool. That's oh, cool. well, thank you. Um, someone from China? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to share some ex experience from China. And uh, we held a meetup in Beijing in uh, October uh, 20. Um, um, before the meetup, I was worried about people, uh, whether they come in or not. But when I, uh, actually we use the same system uh, like this summit uh, to sell the tickets for we have uh, one day uh, activities. We sell tickets and uh, 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 it's a big surprise for me. Uh, uh, over uh, 300 people wants the ticket, but uh, we have a uh, small room. We uh, we don't have the enough place to hold these people, so uh, we put out the videos and uh, and uh, the, the the slides on the website. Uh, this is the a good side for the situation of meetup and the activities of OpenStack in China, and uh, actually in the states uh, in. Uh, in this, during the summit, I talked to some people, and I found that uh, maybe in China we should learn to some uh, group um, user groups from other areas and countries. Um, in China, this meetup uh, mainly uh, about the uh, the general uh, themes about OpenStack. Maybe in the future we need to talk about more technical themes and to some discussions of the. Uh, special uh, dedicated uh, projects or something. Okay, that's my sharing. Anyone else from, yeah? Hi, this is Jesok from Korea. Um, the, our community has, uh, I don't know, Facebook is uh, 1,300 uh, members. Um, um, the best thing we have, uh, 1,300, <laughs> 13. Um, 13. Yes, thirteen hundred. One three. Croissant. Yes. Um, Who is writing? So we did. So we started at the, the late uh, two thousand ten. Our community. So I, I see the some like a phase. So first time, there's few people knows about OpenStack, and people just the joining community to listen what's OpenStack about. The second phase, the people know about. Uh, the OpenStack, and they're working for the company who are interested in OpenStack, so they're coming to community because they need to. Uh, and this uh, year, third phase, is there right now a bunch of people who are interested in community itself, so enjoying being in community and interacting with each other. So uh, it's not about their company working on OpenStack. So, uh, so with those large number of members, we were able to build some of governance organization inside the community because there are 
very lots of people who are willing to do that and enjoying being together and as a community. So that was the best thing we happened. And because of that, I think there is some similar point in, in, in previously. Um, since we have like uh, two meetups uh, per month and some of the activities and participating uh, like open source uh, conference event uh, as a community itself. Um, and, and we moved from and vendor support and company support and we have problem of finding rooms and meetups and you know, sustain our, our whole community uh, because um, we are not getting any uh, support and we, are, we don't want to get any support from vendors. So we are, we are actively discussing inside community and what to do and I mean we can have, we can write our books in, as a community name and we can have a little bit training also. So we are having lots of ideas how we just sustain our community in his way, very helpful way and having more the, the people engaging in the community and being on, like an open source community itself. So I guess that's all. Okay, thank you. I, I see a pattern of uh, people having success, a lot of people. Uh, maybe is there anyone here with a group that is starting with very few people? That would be you? Or, oh, in the back. So I you're next. Okay, well, I, I was holding my hand up I even before you said the, the small group. Okay. But uh, yes, it is relatively small, I guess, compared to the sizes here. It's about uh, 160 people. By the way, I'm, I'm, my name is Nikolai. I'm, I'm uh, from the uh, uh, OpenStack user group in Stockholm. So I, I started it uh, last year uh, on my own, and basically it, it's, it's been slowly and steadily growing, uh, which is really good. And uh, on, the, on the good uh, side, and, and maybe an advice that I can uh, give to others who have issues finding room, uh, I am in close contact with the technical university that I collaborate with, and they're always glad to host this kind of events. And they usually have big rooms and all of them. So, uh, on the less good side, I would like to emphasize once again, it's been uh, brought up earlier, that it's sometimes hard to get speakers. And what it resulted in, it's, it's on one hand, uh, I got a couple of times like too much vendor specific speakers. and very untechnical, which was uh, very annoying to a technical bunch, um, and which resulted in having fewer meetups because I decided, okay, I will only have a meetup when I can guarantee that I'll have a quality speaker, and that is not often. So, uh, yeah, if, if anyone has a, a plan how to, like, to schedule speakers, to share speakers, that will be totally amazing. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so I live in Kenya. Uh, so we have about a five to ten person user group. Uh, I'm mostly doing it just as a, an exercise in getting more capacity built out in terms of uh, uh, technology and, and getting people to be able to create things for academic purposes but also for business purposes. Um, one of the things I've noticed is I've been working with the Polish user group. I don't, is anybody here from Poland? Okay, so uh, what's great is that the time zones are the same. So I think one of the things that we've been trying to do is to do more uh, regular hangouts that are shifted. And what would be pretty cool would be to start setting up more of a regular user group that's on a hangout that would be supported by the OpenStack Foundation. And that way, these groups in smaller areas could communicate with each other as a regular thing. And that could be done remotely. I don't think there can be one global one because we're in a 24-hour world, but maybe uh, one for Europe and Africa, one for Asia, one for the Americas. Um, and then. It's hard to coordinate those things, so that would be something I think that also uh, could be done at a global level. Cool, oh, thank you. Uh, who, who have we not heard from so far? Can we scroll up there and have a look at the girl? You, you know? um, one, of, one of the pain that we always had since, since basically we, we established the project was that we had a very hard time discovering activities of user groups around the world. And uh, the reason why we're investing in this new user group portal is because we would like to have one single feed of events ev automatically exposed to anybody that is interested so that you can see that there is going to be um, a lot, uh, an event in Canberra and who happen that happens to be in the same time zone of Japan or similar, compatible with Japan. So people from Japan will be able to either 
ask Tristan to enable a video stream, audio video stream, or uh, automatically Tristan will know about it and we will have a way to share all of that um, without having to create an extra layer of complexity. I mean, the hack that the Polish team uh, has been forced to invent for all the uh, European time zones meetings um, will prob will hopefully be removed. Uh, the need for that uh, very soon, hopefully. Uh, definitely, we're looking for people to help. I mean, we have um, we have um, a project. I mean, the group's uh, development uh, effort for the pro portal is based on Drupal. Um, it's uh, available on a public Git repository. Uh, we will have um, um, uh, the leaders are in this room, the leaders of this project, um, and they will. Uh, they're already working with the Drupal community too to get them involved because we will need to develop tools to import uh, information from meetup.com, from Google communities, uh, other tools in the, in the near future too. So we have about five minutes left, no, eight minutes left. Uh, do you want to keep going on these presentations or should we maybe uh, ask questions and try to find answers? Um, Maybe after I want to get a chance to talk about France. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, since the last summit, uh, we we have federated uh, the the French community because we we were only um, organized meetup and uh, now we have uh, made a few working group with uh, a team uh, a team uh, of uh, uh, 12, uh, 12 people. So we we are working on a group for events. Uh, and uh, since the last month, we have a program of uh, workshops, small small workshops. Uh, so we have uh, Pierre, uh, a guy with here, has met uh, two weeks ago workshops around uh, around it. So we, we try to make uh, more 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 technical things. Uh, we have federated a, a team around translation, uh, uh, who work to who, to to translate completely uh, all, all the documentation. Um, we have few guys working on uh, communication to, to make flyers. Um, they were with, with Stefano in uh, Open World Forum, but, uh, but uh, without uh, communication uh, paper, so we are working on this. And, uh, um, and we try to, to formalize uh, this because it, it, it's, it's not a, a real, it's a user group by only link by, uh, by, uh, by mailing list, uh, but no, no, for, no formal user group. Uh, so we are thinking to to, to make a, a real uh, real organization uh, in the in the next month. And what would be the bad? Where, <laughs> what's the problem? Um, Do you have any problem? Well, we had few problems like uh, over group. I think uh, too, too much people to find place because when when we made a meet up with uh, at the beginning 20, uh, 30 people, it was easy, but uh, at the last uh, meetups we were 150, so it's it's, it's sometimes difficult to, uh, and we want, we all the time take a new place, so it's it's not easy to find place where in Paris because in Paris uh, 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 place uh, with 150 is a little bit difficult. So we we have a partnership with universities uh, inside Paris, so it's good place and, uh, and it's good to to make partnership with university because lots of students came so it's good, uh, it's really good uh, to, it was a, a solution to, to keep it simple uh, for meetups. So university seems to be, um, yes sir. Thank you. Also in Italy we start, uh, I don't know how many we are, Stefano probably know the number, uh, more than 100 minutes for sure. And uh, um, I have to say two things. The first is that uh, uh, we already uh, used to be connected into town when we do the, the, the meetup, Milan and Rome. Uh, one is physical, is the first uh, um, base, and uh, the second is the slave uh, connecting via streaming. Uh, and we, uh, one time is Milan and one time is Rome, the first. Okay, and uh, we, we change. Uh, and the second thing uh, is that uh, uh, a lot of people ask to us uh, to come to the meetup uh, to learn uh, to start. So the last we had uh, was, uh, I was surprised, 
was like a school because uh, a lot of people stay there to uh, to know to have a section to understand uh, in which way to install and uh, and so on uh, and, and I know that I'm I'm not on the marketing side and not on uh, the communication side and uh, I know that the, our marketing say that uh, we have a lot of request uh, for the next uh, to have the same uh, uh, solution to install and uh, and so on. And I agree that uh, one of the most value is to have people that come uh, uh, for uh, different experience, uh, different uh, um, nation to, to talk, and we did. Okay, so it's for the few minutes we have, does anyone have questions, specific questions regarding user groups? Okay, no. So, um, Maybe someone has an answer regarding your training or workshops. Maybe, Sean, you, you, want, you would like to comment on that. And nobody raised their hand for another question, so I'm going, I, I know you have the answer for that. Okay, so uh, um, uh, you're certainly involved with training as well, but more specifically. Yeah, but I don't speak today. No. Oh, <laughs> All right, anyway, okay, so he's not speaking. So. Um, uh, a few of us have gotten together. Um, it started around the user groups, uh, partially because we were getting consistent, consistently the same questions from different personas, different types of people. Um, and uh, a few of us said, well, in the effort of automating things, let's start writing this down and start creating some, uh, some documentation around the common questions these people have. And it evolved into us creating uh, training documentation. So. Um, it is a project. Um, it's uh, up on uh, GitHub like anything else, as all the rest of the OpenStack docs are. Um, we're sprinting towards having our first uh, book go out, which would be for uh, the persona of an associate, which is kind of a, a, a beginner. Um, and uh, we were planning on uh, releasing uh, books on for operator, developer, and DevOps. Um, we likely will do some other variations as well in the future because um, we, we want to uh, make it more theory focused um, or include more theory. Right now it's very specific on mostly installation, very little theory. So, um, but the intention, anyway, the short answer or the short idea behind this is that it's meant to be um, used by the user groups um, all over, uh, all the user groups um, as a possible syllabus that um, uh, hopefully user groups will find um, useful so when people show up with variety of levels of experience and knowledge and intent, they can um, either self be self-taught or uh, be instructor taught by if there's uh, somebody who's willing to mentor them at the user group. So, excellent. Um, yeah. So to uh, to conclude, because we're running against the time, uh, with every uh, every panelist, I have one minute to okay. for a conclusion, a word, say, wisdom. If, if we've got any any other countries that we didn't cover. That um, might be too short, unless no, you no, want no. to relinquish your yeah, no, no, conclusion no. time. Or no, no, to, go, to uh, come in there later, and yeah. please, oh, okay. please, 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 um, add to this. Help us out with this, because it's, it's on your feedback. We can improve it for, for, for more user groups and new user groups coming. So um, I can see Marcelo from Brazil down there. Um, please, add your, add your information to that. Arturo, um, please help us out and, and, and feed it back whatever you can into this into this uh, document. Yeah, that's a nice right. conclusion. Uh, at this point of time, while closing, I would just like to thank all the vendors back in India, those who supported all our initiative, right? And to answer come of some of the problems that all the user group are facing is like speaker and a, a div a the location. I would just say that we have the same initial and today we have results. So you need to collaborate and you need to communicate very clearly what's in it for them, you know, when they host this kind of meetup. So today uh, we are running out of time, so I wouldn't uh, talk much more, but in case you have any problem how to get this started, how to resolve these issues, we would be right outside this conference room. Just stop me and ask me. I'll be happy to assist you further. Thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, just, a, just a one point that I want to make is that uh, for developing countries like uh, Vietnam, it's actually the, the awareness about what's happening with the, the, in the world, you know, about the cloud and so on. Is, uh, there's a delay. So by the time when they heard about OpenStack, probably all the vendors are then telling them that, oh, you know, we are the one who do it. 
and we are the one who are implementing OpenStack. So, so I think, I, and I'm worried that you know developing countries would face this problem if our user group don't uh, have a way to actually uh, uh, cover uh, that uh, at the moment. So I just raised that point to see whether you would do something about that. Thank you very much for this wonderful journey. A round of applause for the panel. <laughs>